again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz and today we're gonna look at five completely fake premium tanks. Now before you go pointing out that a lot of premium tanks are fake like the Dracolo or the Howl thing, I'm not looking at the fantasy tanks, I'm looking at tanks that have been marketed as real tanks or at least coming from some form of design. Those type of fake tanks and kicking us off straight off the bat is one of the fakest of all the fakes. That is the Type 59 pattern. Now, this is a really interesting tank. Wargaming actually marked this as a real tank, a concept type tank, whereby the turret of a pattern was married to the hull of a Type 59. Interesting. Firstly, the chances of marrying a turret from an American tank to the hull of effectively a Soviet tank would be very difficult because obviously they have completely different mechanics and measurements. Everybody suggests, all the, well, all the main websites like Tank Encyclopedia, etc., etc., suggest that this is a completely fake tank. It is absolutely made up by wargaming um, for the game. Simple fact of life. There is no write-up on this tank. There is no marketing on this tank. There are absolutely zero pictures relating to this tank. There are some interesting theories, such as the Vietnamese, um, it, during the Vietnam War, captured patent tanks and gave them to the Republic of China. There are also reports that the Pakistanis caught, captured tanks, patent tanks from the Indians and gave them to the Chinese. None of these stories are credible. And this is, you know, for all intents and purposes, this tank is a complete and utter fabrication given to Wargaming's artistic license. It is an interesting concept, nothing more. It is a tank that never existed. Next, we have another purely fake tank. Although, to be fair, this one was considered. This tank came about as a potential replacement to the AL, ARL-44. And basically, what they wanted to do, they wanted to design a tank that resembled a Panther tank, chassis, and have a Tiger II turret. And they came up with this. The thing is, it was only ever a drawing board tank. And when I say drawing board, I mean a sketch, a thought, nothing more than that. This tank never got into the blueprint stage. It was merely an idea. In fact, they dropped the idea very quickly and they moved on to the AMX 50. So whilst this is a nice idea, it again is another one of those thoughts and artistic licenses that Wargaming have come up with. The tank itself, as I said, it was merely a sketch. There, there is no line drawings whatsoever. There's nothing. There's no mock-ups, no models, nothing. And it's interesting because what Wargaming given us is a French-looking tank, when in reality, had this have gone forward, it would have been a panther hull with a Tiger II turret married to the top for all intensive purposes. So whilst it's nice to have a French tier, tier 8 tank, it's truly fake. It never existed. And the chances are it would never have existed. I mean, as I said, the French never went ahead with anything other than a, you know, a concept sketch, which I can't find. There are no pictures of this. There's nothing on this tank. It does not exist. It's a funky looking tank, however. Next, we have the Panzer IV Schmalturm. Mm. Again, this is a tank that is, there's a lot of artistic license. The Panzer IV really existed. The Schmalturm turret really existed. But were they actually married together? Well, some reports say they were. But there's no pictures and, you know, the reports are sketchy at best and you have to take them with a massive pinch of salt. The report states that a Panzer IV or a couple of Panzer IVs did have a Schmaltern turret mated to it. But this is the problem. I mean, the Panther Schmaltern turret, which is what that is, by the way, it's not, you know, basically, 
is would never have fit the Panzer IV hull. I mean, it's a bigger turret. They would have had to have done some serious engineering. So whilst this is a lovely looking tank, it really is a hybrid. It never existed. And the chances are it would never have existed. They, they did consider doing this. Um, they, the Germans did consider putting Schmalter and Turrex on Panzer IVs, as I said. But whilst there are reports that one or two may have had it done, those reports aren't really credible, to be perfectly honest with you. And the chances are this tank never, ever saw the light of day. It's a nice looking tank. It's funky looking. It's sexy. I'm, it's nice. It's in the game. But it's fake. Oh, here we go. The Chimera. Where do I start with the Chimera? This is the latest British premium tank to hit the game. And I don't know where to start with this one. This is Utterly and totally a fabrication. I mean, this you, you might as well have this as a fantasy tank in its own right. The British did have a tank called the Chimera, funnily enough. But that tank was a self-propelled anti-tank gun built around 1984 on a FV4201 Chieftain chassis. This... Wow, it's a mix and match, isn't it? I mean, what is the hull, really? I mean, the turret is that of a conqueror, but what's the hull? I mean, this is total fabrication. I, I cannot even find any write-ups anywhere suggesting that this was even a line drawing or seriously considered, to be perfectly honest with you. As I said, there really is a tank called the Chimera, but this is not it. That tank is a chieftain, with its turret chopped off and turned into effectively like a tank destroyer. This, well, God knows what this is. And clearly somebody somewhere had a bit of a brain fart and thought, well, we need to give a British tank um, in, in, in a tier eight as a premium. Um, let's just create something and stick a Conqueror turret on the top. It, it'll look cool. And it does look cool, and it's a nice tank, but it's utterly, utterly fake. It never existed in any way, shape, or form. So whilst it's a nice tank, completely fake. Bringing us on to the last one. Yes, I unfortunately I don't have a replay of this one because this one hasn't hit the game yet. This is a test. This is the Vickers Light Tank, the proposed Tier 10 British Light. It's coming out as a premium. Uh interesting now this tank i cannot find anything on it all i can think is that this is the ro 2000 series which was an attempt by the royal ordnance to standardize a vehicle fleet and basically it's a centurion chassis that's been modified there was one built as in a hull that was it it was meant to be a light tank well, the, the, the RO2004 was meant to be a light tank. But this tank bears no resemblance to that concept because whilst it looks similar, the turret was actually rear-mounted a bit like a bat chat. So, you know, I'm trying to struggle to find where this one sits. Is it the RO2004 or not? I can't find any details on what this tank is or if Vickers really did produce a drawing or a concept. I guess we'll never know. The RO series, by the way, was made in the 1980s, so this, chances are that's not this tank. Be interesting to see. So again, guys, it's another creation by Wargaming, a complete fake. Anyway, those have been my top fake premium tanks that allegedly exist but realistically don't. I've been Fujit, I hope you enjoyed that. By all means, comment and like and all the stuff below. If you haven't yet, please press subscribe. It's a lovely thing to do. You can always send your replays to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or you can upload them to my Discord server. And until the next time, fake tanks or not, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.